So you wanna learn this effect? I'm gonna teach you how to create this effect inside of After Effects using just a free plugin from Video Copilot called Saber. So stay with me. Hey everyone, this is Abdelmi for Luna Studio, and uh, this tutorial is gonna be a quick tutorial. So uh, let's just dive into the tutorial. Here I have uh, uh, my footage. I'm just uh, doing this uh, random uh, stuff. Sorry for that and uh, here you can see you can do whatever you want uh, you must uh, watch uh, Doctor Strange uh, movie to get to clearly what we're creating here and uh, and I guess you've watched it already so here I'm just doing this thing so first of all uh, let's uh, create uh, let's uh, turn this uh, rope into some fiery thing or oh, to create this just go right click new solid name it saber and here we go uh, disable it just grab a pen tool go to the first frame or oh, yep and just create a random mask right like this that can cover the whole uh, rope and select saber click M mask path and uh, click on keyframe make a keyframe go one frame ahead and just follow the mass to the path of uh, this rope and this is kind of a stressful thing you will get bored soon but uh, if you want something really cool in the result you gotta do this I have uh, done this sh sorry for that I've done this thing uh, a lot of time and uh, let's just go another frame and just do it frame by frame follow the rope and I'll be back when I'm done with the mass path uh, keyframes so here I am back again with all my keyframes I tried my best to get the, mm, the most precise keyframes that I can so here are the results and now let's get to the next point and it is uh, a Saber plugin you can find the Saber plugin on video copilot uh, website and it's completely free and it's awesome I really love it using this and uh, it made a lot of things for me easy so just drag and drop the saber so now we have saber on uh, you might have uh, a saber like this just go to transfer mode and select add or screen I might want to go to screen so then into saber go to customize core core type layer mask and it's almost done as you can see it's almost done we are there so now just uh, we want to change mm, the shape and uh, the structure of this core now let's go to presets uh, right uh, beneath saber and select portal uh, you can see here portal it's written portal so uh, by default it's uh, blue uh, I want to change it to something uh, something like this whatever you want you can change it and you can just hide the mask right like this as you can see it's too bright here so I want to change the uh, core size to 1 and everything looks fine let's just uh, color correct the main footage I'm gonna drop some curves on it lower its brightness and increase the contrast a bit wanna go to blue channel increase some blue decrease so we are done I think with our footage now just uh, right click and new solid create an orange solid like this so here it is go to transfer mode add the solid and just press 
click and hold on this uh, rectangle tool and select ellipse, ellipse tool and double click on it so it will create this uh, mask or the frame just enable this so you can see the mask so now we can just double click M while orange solid is selected decrease the mask so I'm gonna adjust the mask and uh, click on mask path double click on the mask so we are here just go 10 frames ahead shift page down and click again 10 frames ahead shift page down and ma uh, make sure the center is on the rope now after the uh, 10 frames go just between them and see if you can find something missing i think i'm done with this mask thing so let me just feather it out a bit more uh, lower its opacity I can and change the color bit I don't want this complete orange I just want something reddish so here it is we've got our footage and we have our footage right here so this is our footage now the last part is uh, to add some uh, sparks I've got some sparks from uh, uh, action essential pack and I made I made a pack a small pack of these uh, uh, sparks the link will be in the description you can find these uh, sparks for free and uh, and don't tell anyone and uh, so let's uh, get into the sparks so spark one up here uh, transform mode to add and uh, just see where are so that's the thing we want right now go to ellipse tool select rectangle tool a double click rectangle tool so we don't want any sharp edges so we are just uh, uh, mask expansion we are decreasing it go around uh, 970 and then feather it out minus 70 sorry for that so we have this so just rotate the footage and place it randomly on I I might wanna go and stretch the time about 70 So that's our first spark. Now let's drag the second one. Find the spot and copy the mask from first one to the second one. Just like that and add it to the layer. And time time stretch minus 70. You can go with 100 or 0 or anything. what did I do okay time time stretch it's 70 I think what did I do with this one it's 70 and I want this one here just randomly duplicate and rotate So that's uh, that's all for today's tutorial and I hope you liked it if you love this tutorial and uh, please subs drop a subscribe right down there press that red button I want that button to be pressed at any cost and uh, l drop a like uh, let's aim for 100 likes for this video let's uh, start aiming for likes uh, like other youtubers uh, are doing so 100 likes for this video what do you think about my tutorials in my channel and particularly this tutorial uh, drop a comment down
down below and uh, please share my channel videos uh, so I can get as much support from you guys as uh, I need right now because I'm trying my best to get in the game and uh, uh, sorry for not uploading uh, tutorials for quite a while because I'm uh, busy in my exams uh, they are in uh, at the end of April so I'll be not uploading uh, uh, video uh, until then so so watch my previous tutorial I made a lot of previous tutorial and free intros outros and you can uh, watch all of them so that's that's all for today uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching love you guys see you later